Yeah, hello traders, it's your one and only Forex Q coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited to have you all here today on this, all right? So I just got an alert from my uh, FX alert app, okay? Uh, for those of you who are trading the currency pairs, you really need these apps. These apps are very important for you, especially the FX alert app. What the FX alert does for you is to let you know when price is at your zone. It calls you in, it gives you a sound so you can always go and check out your market, okay? So it just gave me an alert and I've checked my chart and indeed it's worth buying. So I'm gonna have to go place a buy instantly right now. As you can see i so after getting the alarm I jump straight into my charts and observing that price is actually on my point of entry so i've decided to take the trade and let's see how it's going to go i'm on targeting about uh 57 pips right but before the 57 pips my first take profit should be within uh 26 pips then after 26 pips, I will have to head straight over to 47 and then going higher to 66 in the sense that this is where I'm targeting as a final take profit, which I'm believing the price would likely send back down the moment it gets all the way from here to here. Okay, but for now, we would keep our take profit resting on the zone first okay so as a forest trader the first thing you want to do whenever you wake up in the morning after saying your prayer you get into your chart and analyze the market so I was busy analyzing the uh, uh, USD card before the alarm got me into GBP USD so for USD card, I'm actually anticipating a sell. All right, I'm actually anticipating a sell on USD card. So I'm expecting price to get out to this way. So I can use this as a confluence for a double top and then sell from here straight down. Okay. This is what I'm anticipating to do on USD card. So, uh, what are my confluences? Why do I believe that it's going to be good to sell from here? Now, as you can see, number one, heading to the four hour time frame, it's actually a downtrend if we look at it. That's the number one thing you always want to look at your trend. Okay, so it's a downtrend, and then, uh, heading straight to the one hour time frame okay not just a downtrend we can observe that in in this downtrend do you know how a trend moves right the trend moves in waves for a downtrend it's gonna give you a low all right lower high lower low lower high lower low right so in this case we can see that this market has just given us that movement low lower high lower low lower high you can see this is an area of confluence all right so i'm expecting the next lower lower low okay uh then heading to the one hour time frame after the move to the upside there was a huge drop and ever since then the, the bulls have been trying their best to recover to recover to recover and they haven't gotten back to that same top and right now they are sitting on the zone okay so while sitting on the zone actually i can actually decide to take a cell, a cell from here but it's not that safe okay so you always want to play on the safer side very important so i need to wait for the bulls to really push up much more i need i need them to give me a price as high as this and then i will confidently sell from here having my 
uh, stop having my stop loss at 30 pips all right and then having my first target at 48 pips and then my next target would keep it then my target will keep going even deeper to here even on to here and that's 110 pips target okay but for now we keep it at 48 pips and anticipating that move so uh, another confluence that I'm looking at like I've taught you guys is your DXY so looking at the DXY looking at the DXY uh, the DXY as we can see going to a four hour time frame I just clean all this okay the DXY as we can see is it is on a downtrend telling you that the, the bears are actually weak, uh, telling you that the USD market is actually kind of weak okay uh, they actually drop into the ground gradually we have this sign here this is this is a popular uh what's it called it's a popular chart pattern that everyone knows this is a an inverse head and shoulder okay so two things might likely happen either this inverse head and shoulder would would uh, would take place would take its power or not but for the meantime we have here to be some kind of a resistance zone for the bears we have here to be some kind of a resistance zone for the usd market so it's currently on its resistance zone and if, and if you observe you will get to notice that there has been a lot of struggle on that zone all right and as it as it is on a resistance zone this is your a confluence telling you that man the bear the, the usd market might likely fall but we can't say much yet all right we just have to keep observing what the market is doing so having to know that the USD market is currently on a resistance gives you confluence to know that man, any market where you have USD to be the base pair should be you should be looking for a selling opportunity on it. If the confluence you find on that pair is also synchronizing with what you're seeing on the ADX. So right now on GBP USD, we can see that USD GBP is rising to the top and that is why I took that uh, trade all right so we are hoping to have a good a, a good buying opportunity to this zone anytime soon and then for USD card there's every tendency that is going to fall from here that is why I said I might likely want to take the trade from here but because it's because I need to be on the very safer side that is why I decided not to take the trade but to allow it to go to the upside before I sell all right so you need to understand that logic all right you need to understand that logic so with what we're seeing the usd might likely fall but it's currently on a strong zone all right it's on a strong uh support zone so that's why i don't really want to put my mind into selling it for the main time so since i already got the entry for gbp usd so i'll just hold on to that and see how it goes please let me know if you have any question anything you want to understand more about the forex market i would like to use your questions to create videos for you guys so that i can teach you to your knowledge ask me those questions and let me use those your questions to create videos for you to teach you guys so that you stop wasting your money on things that don't work for you guys man you you, you can get all those things here for free all right so ask your questions and I will answer. Don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time on this channel. And those of you who are uh, a returning subscriber, thank you for being part of the journey so far. And, and, the, and the community keeps growing, okay? So hit the like button if you love this video and if you gained insight from it, all right? Just give me some nice comments and give me that courage to keep doing more for you guys. So let's see how far it will go. And I will see you on the next video.